When it's just you, well, times can be tough. When there's no one there to catch. Dear Diary, today I focused on the Severum Fry grow out tank. It had a layer of mold on the bottom that was getting quite thick. Also, I hadn't done a water change since I moved them in there and thought it was well past due time. Before I did, I figured it would be a good idea though to get some of the brown algae off the front glass. I siphoned the tank carefully, getting as much of the mulm as I could while still making sure not to suck up a fry. Thankfully, they were terrified of the siphon and avoided it. I am so glad these little guys are doing so well in this tank. It will be the first clutch of eggs that makes it to this size. I wonder if they'll look like rock eels. Or maybe some will turn golden. Or even otter. Maybe they all turn to green severum. Since the golden and rock eel came from the green. I am worried about their siblings in the 75 gallon. Always on the lookout of, among other things, their parents trying to eat them. As hard as I might try, I just can't seem to catch them, so they will have to learn to survive on their own. They've done pretty good so far, I hope they make it. If you enjoyed this, please be sure to come back tomorrow on my diary of a fish keeper. I'd like to say a great big thank you to everyone that watched the video all the way through. I really do appreciate it. They're not very long, so if you could make it all the way through to the end, it is really, really appreciated. If you liked this, please hit the like button. It helps the channel out quite a bit. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe and the notification bell so you get notified tomorrow when this video comes out. Or the next video comes out. Also, I do put out videos on Thursdays and I've got merch and all of that good stuff, but just remember, guys and gals, we are feeding the addiction one tank at a time through education and inspiration, and I hope you have a wonderful day.